Hello, English 11 students. Welcome back to day two for our class. Uh, this video is designed to help you kind of make up for having missed the Zoom class. Uh, and in order to kind of do the things that we're talking about today, you'll just need this video, um, but you'll also want to make sure that you open Canvas in another tab or a window uh, and navigate to our class there. First, a brief uh, note about uh, the student absence form. Uh, you should have received this message through Canvas from Dr. Cohen um, earlier in the week, but I wanted to kind of go over this with you uh, all together. Right? Montgomery County Public Schools has created an absence form for you to submit when you are unable to access the live Zoom class sessions. This link is on our webpage or the school webpage. It's located on the upper left hand side in the box with the school address and phone number and directly under Dr. Cohen's video about the innovative programs at Seneca Valley High School. Uh, please use this form to document excused absences from live virtual lessons. The form must be completed for each day of absence from a live virtual lesson. Okay, so just a couple notes about this, right? Completing this video, this Nearpod lesson that we're doing uh, by watching the video and then answering the questions as they pop up on your screen, which will happen in a minute, uh, that allows me to verify that you got the important information from our class and that you're engaged, which is part of the excused absence requirement. The other important aspect, right, is you need to follow Dr. Cohen's directions to, and complete that absence form. That completing that form allows the attendance secretary, Ms. Perfetto, to change the status of your absence. I cannot change that status for you after it's already been entered. It has to be done through submitting that form. Okay. So right now, what I'm going to do is you will see a box pop up on your screen and it will ask you a question and there'll be a space for you to type in your answer. And that's how uh, basically these Nearpod lessons work. So let's try that now. Okay. So now that you've answered that question, let's move on. Okay. As a reminder, you know, during regular Zoom lessons, right, students are subject to the MCPS student code of conduct. Student activity and behavior is recorded for the purposes of student and classroom safety, right? Nothing you do is anonymous. Um, and you shouldn't enable the video or audio unless specifically told to. Um, again, everything you say, do, or type is recorded, including in this Nearpod lesson. So keep it school appropriate. Please keep your camera and mic off until asked to unmute when we have live Zoom classes. When we're in a Zoom class, you use the raise your hand feature or the chat to ask questions. And then uh, recordings of our live classes, sorry, recordings are always posted on Canvas. And if there was a live recording, I always announce that ahead of time. And you need to remember that there is no saving, no downloading or taking pictures of any of those live classes, okay? All right, so our focus for the second day was just a quick community builder. And then the remaining time in class was used to help students with the tasks for this week. Okay, so our agenda, right, we've already covered the first one, the first two, excuse me, right, and we're just going to do the community builder and then the time to work on the syllabus quiz and or the summer reading. All right, so first, the introduction uh, to me. Right, my name is Mr. Krause, right again, that's Cece. She's super adorable. Um, you have my contact information on Canvas, but here it is again. Uh, my education, uh, I went to Delaware County Community College. I did that and then went into the United States Army for two years. I then went to Westchester University of Pennsylvania and got my teaching degree. Uh, while I was teaching, I went to the University of Maryland at College Park to get my master's degree and through online learning at Laverne University, I now have my PhD equivalency. A little bit nummy. Uh, my experience, right, I've been a teacher in Montgomery County for 15 years now. I started at Springbrook High School where I taught for nine years with Miss Anderson Petty as my coworker. And I've been here at Seneca Valley for six years. And just like a little fun fact, if you know Miss Dooley, I was her mentor teacher, right? So she was like my assistant before she got to be her own get her own classroom. Uh, my interests, I love comics and manga, cartoons, anime. I'm a big Dungeons and Dragons geek. Uh, I like to exercise a lot. 
I like horror movies and horror books, and I really like rock music. So that's just a little bit about me. So for our community builder, right, what we did was we did this activity called Give Me a Break, right? And all I'm going to do, like, there's going to be a message that pops up on your screen, and I just want you to answer the question, you know, what's got this guy shook? What is he freaking out about or what's he reacting to? Okay, you're not going to type it in a chat. Like, a, again, a box will show up now. All right, thank you for doing that. And let's move on to the next part. So the rest of the time in our class was just reserved for students being able to ask questions live as they worked on their summer reading assignment or as they worked through the syllabus quiz. Um, if you have any questions, uh, a box will pop up now. Uh, if you have any questions right now about those things, please type them into the box. If later on you have a question um, and you need to get a hold of me, but you know class has already expired, just send me an email and I can answer your question as quickly as possible. So for right now, again, when the box pops up, if you have any questions about these two items, the summer reading homework or the syllabus quiz, please let me know now. All right, and that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, your action items, again, right? make sure that you're turning in that summer reading homework. The If you haven't already finished it, make sure that you finish the syllabus quiz. And then the optional item is to set alerts in your phone with those important dates from the syllabus. Again, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you soon in class.